So check this out. The FBI just put out a warning that you shouldn't charge your phones at a public USB port. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I have some more cyber news. And as I stated in the intro, I wanted to cover a recent warning that was put out by the FBI. And it basically stated that you shouldn't be using those USB charging ports to charge your phone in public locations, similar to like an airport or just different public places where they have those public USB ports because of a hacking technique called juice jacking. So let's go down and hop over to the article. All right, cool. So this article is on popularscience.com. So pop sci, I'll have the link down in the description of the video, but this was a good article that I wanted to cover. I see it's multiple, it's pretty much everywhere on all major, you know, platforms, news outlets or whatever. Uh, this is just an article I chose to use. And also this one was public published today, uh, April 11th. And so it should have the most up-to-date information as well. That's why I wanted to cover it because sometimes when you look at a lot of these articles, like the er earlier articles that come out, they have to go in and edit, you know, as as new information comes out. So I just tend to just grab something that's a little bit newer uh, because it'll include those edits with the information that comes out. But I knew this wasn't going to really change when it comes to this article because it's just a basic warning. And they also put it on their Twitter account. But anyway, I'm talking too much. Let's go down and get to it. But it says uh, why you shouldn't charge your phone at a public USB port. Here's what the FBI is sharing about a hacking technique called juice jacking. And shout out to Harry Guinness, which is the person that wrote this article. Uh, and so and if you look here, you know, on the main picture, I mean, it's represents it right here. Those charging ports stations you could plug into uh, that are free. That's the warning. That's what this warning is for uh, to stop using those. Now it says public USB ports seem like a convenient way to charge your phone. But as the FBI Denver field office recently tweeted, they may not be safe with a technique called juice jacking. Now I've heard of juice jacking. Uh, a while back how they can access your data you know via the power ports uh, but it says hackers can use public usb ports to install malware and monitor software on your devices theoretically the kinds of tools that can be installed this way can allow hackers to access the content of your smartphone and steal your passwords so they can do things like commit identity theft uh, transfer money from your bank accounts which is yeah in this time of inflation, you definitely don't want to file for something like this. And it says, or simply sell your information on dark web. Now it says, while juice jacking is just one of the ways that USB devices can spread malware, it's a particular insidious technique. So you don't need to be targeted directly. Just plug in your smartphone into a USB port in an airport, hotel, shopping center, and any other public location could be enough for your data to get stolen yeah and that's why <laughs> and i know this might be uh see like i said i've known about juice jacking for a while now and computers work differently they don't move data basic basically through the port that charges your laptop so whenever i go somewhere i typically have my laptop plugged in and then I always plug my phone into my computer. You know what I'm saying? So that's some way I mitigate that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, that is an inconvenience. Like if, if you're in a hotel room, you know, you don't know who's been in that hotel room before you, but they may have put something in there to jack everybody's phone that plugs in via that room. So that's very scary. You know what I'm saying? Now it says, according to the FCC, criminals can load malware directly onto public usb charging stations which means that literally any usb port could be compromised so that that's that's crazy right there now it says while any given bad actor's ability to do this likely depends on a particular kind of charging port and what software it runs it's also possible that the criminal could install 
an already hacked charging station particularly if they have the assistance of someone who works there so yeah people that work there could be involved and that's what i meant by like in a hotel room you don't i mean people go in there to clean those things you know what i'm saying after everyone you know checks out of the hotel someone comes through that day clean it clean that room you know you don't know who's going in there you know and doing something to the to the ports now it says the issues lies with the usb standard itself as the washington post explained usb a cables the standard ones have four pins two for power transfer and two for data transfer that's why when you plug your phone into your computer you have access to your files because those other two data ports those other two ports basically are for data transfer uh, now it says plugging your smartphone into usb port using a regular usb potentially means connecting it directly to a device that could transfer data to or from it and that's exactly what they're doing that's what the whole jack juicing is all about now it says and although the post cites an expert saying that he recommends using newer devices that charge over usb-c even they are not immune to juice jacking attacks and that's true uh, i've heard that and I kind of looked into it while before I, I did this video, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that USB-C can be vulnerable to these attacks as well. So nor for that matter, or iPhones that charge over the lightning cable. So yeah, uh, software engineers for both Android and iOS devices have taken, taken some steps to mitigate the risk in having users data stolen or malware installed over public USB ports. However, our coverage of all the various zero day attacks or previously undiscovered vulnerabilities should be enough to convince you that even keeping your smartphone up to date with all the latest security patches may not be sufficient to protect you against every new and emerging threat. And that's true. You know, those zero days attacks is basically vulnerabilities that are not discovered. Uh, right here it says, so what can you do? Well, the simplest option is to just bring your own charging cable and wall port. Yeah, and that's true. Uh, just use your cable that came with your own, you know what I'm saying? Or get one of those battery chargers. Like if you're taking a trip, your flight, your, your flight is pretty much all day or something like that. And you may need to charge your phone. You can always bring one of those uh, small battery packs that could charge your phone you know those portable power supplies uh which is super dope you can like i i have one that charges my laptop you know what i'm saying when i wasn't near a plug or anything i chose i was able to charge my laptop so those are super dope those are some ways to actually uh get around this and it says unless you are a target of an ocean 11 worth heist it is highly unlikely that your personal charging cable or plug is compromised just make sure to plug directly into the AC power outlet and not the USB outlet. Yeah, that's what you want to do. So the power plug is, you know, A-OK. -okay. Just bring your own, you know what I'm saying? Now it says if you're traveling internationally and aren't sure about what sort of plugs you will have access to, a USB battery pack. Oh, and they're, they're covering it right there. A USB battery pack and your own charging cable will be, a, will be good to have handy. You can also charge directly from other personal devices like your laptop. Yeah, and that's the example I brought up earlier. You know, you can charge it from your laptop if your laptop is sure. Uh, you can plug those up if you need to because they can only go into the power port and you don't have to worry about USB. You just plug your phone into your laptop and you get to go. You got power. Now it says there or power only USB cables and devices called USB uh condoms that block our usb data traffic yeah and i've heard of those as well i've heard people talk about using those yeah those are great because they block those two ports for the usb data transfer so you don't have to worry about anything being put on your phone or anything being sucked off your phone you know what i'm saying but they're likely a less ideal option purely purely because you need to remember to bring special a special cable rather than a standard USB cable. Yeah, um, but one thing I do whenever I I travel, I have a dedicated bag for all my electronics or whatever. So the charges that go with certain things, 
you know, it'll all be there. So just organize your stuff. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you're traveling, just take the time and organize your bag so you can use the right cables when you need it. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of these new, like, book sacks or whatever, they have all these different pockets. You can put stuff in, organize it very well. So now it says, and if you don't absolutely have to connect to a public USB port, keep a close eye on your smartphone. If you get a pop-up asking if you trust this device, uh, saying you have connected to a hard drive or notice any kind of strange behavior, disconnect it immediately. And that's true. Uh, most phones, you know, especially like, oh, I have an Android and I'm sure it's the same way with iPhone because I've had iPhones before too. But when you plug a computer in uh, or plug your phone into a computer or something like that, it's gonna ask you on the phone, do you trust this device? And you have to physically press the button in order for it to fully connect to that. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's one way, one thing you need to pay attention to when you plug your phone up. Now it says, uh, though seriously, your best bet is to just bring your own charger. Yes, and I 100% agree. Okay, and so one other thing I wanted to show you guys was the actual tweet that was sent out by the FBI Denver um account but it says avoid using you know free charging stations airports hotels all that information so it's a lot of people talking about it but and i know this tweet was put out on april 6th but i just got time to actually you know put this information out but just be careful you know what i'm saying don't plug your your uh phones into any of these random ports like this um and allow access or someone to steal your information you know so i just wanted to do cover this so you guys can have a warning if you're traveling during the summertime i know people go on vacation and all that stuff so want to make sure i put this out to people that follow my little channel but i hope you guys enjoy the video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave comments in the comment section below and of course keep it techy